Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm actually quite happy with this piece. No tortured artist syndrome. This was a relatively smooth and fun piece to paint. I saw a Parisian landscape since the last diptych that I did a while ago, and I never wanted to paint another window again. But I haven't exactly painted buildings recently, so I thought this could be a starter entry to kickstart cityscapes again. Originally, I wanted to blur the whole landscape and just leave the roses in focus. In the end, I've decided to blur the background and leave the foreground intact for more depth and perspective. That, and I was probably a little lazy towards the end. But I like how this turned out, especially the Eiffel Tower looking a little sparkly. No bokeh likes this round, I'm going to give you guys a little break. Did you know, aside the iconic tower, its charming cafes and beautiful French architecture, Paris is known for its extensive underground network of tombs, catacombs and hidden passageways. The Catacombs of Paris, also known as the Quarries of Paris, are a vast network of underground tunnels and ossuaries. They were created in the late 18th century to address the overcrowded cemeteries in the city. Today, visitors can explore a section of the catacombs that houses the remains of millions of Parisians in an eerie yet fascinating experience. The Palace Royal, located near the Louvre, has a complex network of underground passages and tunnels. These hidden passages were once used by spies, politicians and even royalty for secret meetings and discreet activities. Some sections of these tunnels are accessible to the public today. Beneath Paris also lies an intricate network of underground quarries, referred to as the Paris Catacombs or Paris Underground. These tunnels were originally limestone quarries that provided building materials for the city. Over time, they became a clandestine area used by various groups including smugglers and resistance fighters during the World War II. The sewer system of Paris is another underground marvel. While not necessary tombs or hidden passageways, it offers a unique perspective on the city's infrastructure. Visitors can take guided tours to explore sections of the sewer network and learn about its history and the vital role it plays in keeping the city clean and functional. These underground tombs and hidden tunnels of Paris adds a layer of intrigue and mystery to the city's history. They offer a glimpse into the hidden depths beneath the bustling streets, showcasing a different side of Paris' architectural and historical legacy. On a lighter note, apparently there's this thing called the Paris Syndrome. I think we tend to romanticize a place or idea too much. I am guilty as charged at times, especially Paris, the city of love. When expectations are high, comes disappointment as well. Paris syndrome is a psychological condition that refers to a temporary and sometimes severe form of culture shock experienced by some individuals visiting or staying in Paris. It is primarily reported among tourists from Japan, but it can potentially affect individuals from other cultures as well. This syndrome is characterized by disillusionment and disappointment when the visitors' idealized expectations of Paris do not align with the reality they encounter. Symptoms can vary in severity and may include anxiety, depression, delusions, hallucinations, acute psychosis and even physical symptoms like dizziness and chest pain. The discrepancy between the romanticized image of Paris portrayed in media and the actual experience on the ground can contribute to the development of Paris syndrome. Factors such as language barriers, cultural differences, feelings of isolation, and the stress of travel can accelerate the condition. This phenomenon gained attention due to the large number of Japanese tourists visiting Paris, who often have idealized perceptions of the city and its culture. So, the Japanese embassy in Paris even established a 24-hour helpline to provide support to Japanese tourists affected by this syndrome. Well, it's important to note that Paris syndrome is relatively rare, the vast majority of visitors can have positive experiences in the city. And this syndrome is not unique to Paris and can occur in other destinations when travellers' expectations clash with the reality they encounter. I found this bit amusing, how much expectations must one have for a destination to be disappointed to the point of acute psychosis. Anyway, that's my random ramblings for the day. I hope you like this painting, hence without further ado, let's begin.
Oh, I'll be fine. 